Hey, Mike Stish here. I thought I'd take a moment to kind of show off the desk that my wife and I built into our office. Uh, we got about a 12 foot long wall here and we knew we wanted to use this uh, for several different things. My wife's a bassoon player so she's constantly making reads. I'm, uh, you know, writing most of my posts right over there. As you can see, I'm actually working on my next electronics project right now. Uh, and this is a great place to do it, and I think it's better than anything that we could have you know, purchased. Um, definitely for the amount of money we spent, which I'm, I'm thinking was $200, a little bit less maybe. Uh, but you can see it, the top is butcher block. It's actually three pieces of login countertop from Ikea, which are like 40 bucks a piece, which is very inexpensive. And uh, we mounted them to the wall. I guess I'll show you over here. Um, there are two of these arms that uh, we kind of built, um, cut them out with a jigsaw so they're a little nicer shape and, and drilled a hole there for cable pass through and then they're glued and screwed um, the, these pads on the top and sides um, to, to the pieces so they're a nice strong joint. Um, the, you can see I've used uh, leg screws to attach the arms to the wall. Um, right here is a pocket screw that's holding the cleat onto the arm and also the top part of the cleat actually overlaps onto the um, arm right there. To uh, attach the pieces of butcher block together I drilled uh, pocket screws. You can see one right there. Let's see if I can get a better shot of that. There it is. And that's really just um, to clamp them together while I let the Gorilla Glue, glue dry. You can see the butcher block is held onto the support structure. I've got a hole right here that's not being used. Um, it's a little bit too close to the edge of the butcher block, but it's drilled. It's oversized. If we go over to the other side, you can see I'm using fender washers. This way, the butcher block can kind of flex, you know, expand and contract, and not crack. Now, as far as the cleats go, um, I put the arms on first, and then I cut the cleats to length. And you can see that they're attached with. Uh, just some wood screws into the studs with uh, finish washers which gives a nice look there and then over on the ends where the side cleats are there is right there a um, leg screw into a, a stud uh, to make sure that the front of that is is nice and sturdy um, when I went to finish it we thought the look of the wood was pretty nice so um, it's just probably about six coats of uh, polyurethane which is nice and hard and I let each coat dry, put on a thin coat, let it dry, and then uh, buffed it with 6 aught steel wool. Um, and I guess the final part is we, can, we found these cleats, um, these cable cleats on the internet. They're 2 inch, so you just drill a 2 inch hole, which actually this butcher block turned out to be not the easiest thing in the world. Um, yeah, the cats love to, to get underneath these and, and you know kind of poke them out, so a lot of times you'll find them not in there. but that's a fun game, so we're fine with it. But uh, yeah, we really love the amount of space that we that it gives us, and um, you know, it's kind of a nice look. I did add a keyboard tray here. This uh, tray itself is from an old desk, and um, these drawer slides were actually on that old desk as well. Um, this is just an extra piece of the same plywood that was used for the cleats and the arms. And uh, there's an angle bracket. Let's see if I can get some light. Maybe you can see that one on the far side. There's a couple angle brackets right there um, that are used to connect it to the top of the desk. And it gives me the ability to um, have the keyboard out of the way if I'm, you know, doing some prototyping, not necessarily, not necessarily so much typing. So that is the built-in desk that I made. You can uh, see more about it. I put up a full post on it at my website, jumptuck.com. Thanks for watching.